Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 741, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here, honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for real. Hey, it's Tuesday. On Tuesdays, we talk about having a positive mental attitude. We talk about having a terrific Tuesday. That if you write it down, you speak it out loud, and you remind yourself every time life comes at you, like, nope, we're having a terrific Tuesday today, right? Chances are you're going to have a good day today. Seriously, try it. It's the worst thing that could happen. Uh, the date is October 27, 2020. We got a little work to do, so let's do it. First things first, still the realist. You know what else I am? I'm at home. It's a virtual day today. We had a storm front pass through, bring in some sleet, maybe some snow. I don't know. But it's passing through here now. It started last night. Um, and so I'm at home. Not going anywhere, right? Probably we didn't have practice last night. Probably not going to have practice tonight. Just hunkering down, right? So let's get on to our real talk. Keep it positive, too. Right? This is the second time we've had this message. The first time was at the beginning of the pandemic. Part of it was just, uh, you know, I've, since since everything blew up on Thursday, I'm like, man, I got to keep it positive. I, you know, there's enough negativity around here um, that we're not going to end like this. This football season is not going to end negatively. It could end with a loss. It's probably going to end with a loss, right? But that doesn't mean it has to end negatively, right? So keep it positive. Same way at work, same way we're approaching today, right? Like yesterday, as I was sitting here and I had all these things that I wanted to do yesterday afternoon, and it's like, boom, Jack is sick. You need to come pick him up or run in a fever. Um, Addie's school, hey, you need to turn in this Chromebook thing because we're having a virtual day tomorrow. And, you know, just on and on. It's like, what I thought I had another couple hours to work, but I don't. And then you know how that goes, right? So, and then I got them all. So I, it would be very easy for me to be negative. Just look at, oh my God, they're going to be here. It's going to be a sore. I'm like, you know, it's another day I get to spend with my kids. Keep it positive. Uh, let's do our thank yous and we're done for the day. Number one, God's been good to us in the good times and the bad. I'm so glad that I say that every day because then I remind myself through repetition, right? I've said that enough times now that when I walk up to a bad situation, I'm like, man, this is, I don't feel like dealing with this. And then it's like, well, that's your reminder. Like, that's a test. You got to get through that to get to the next level. Then you do all the complaining about like another test, like yes, another test, which means we're not there yet, which means we'll never be there yet because there's always going to be a test. Thankful for Uncle Jay. He called. We chatted for a little bit this morning. Thankful for that Monday night football game last night. Sorry for the Bears fans, right? Um, that Rams team is pretty good. That um, Aaron Donald, number 99 for the Rams, the guy's a beast. I'm thankful for my friend Tad, whose birthday is today. Happy birthday to you. I'm thankful for virtual days, right? Think about when, like, most of us were kids. We didn't have virtual days. If when we were kids, people that are of my age or close to my age, if we'd have gone through this pandemic, it had taken us at least another year to get through school, for real. No doubt about it. Uh, I'm thankful for the Dodgers. I think they're going to wrap up the World Series tonight. That should be fun. Thankful for daily discipline that helps me just keep my mind straight, right? And I'm not saying... I still got a long way to go, right? And I remember when I first started talking to my friends that, that are in a really good spot, and they're like, Rob, I, it's an everyday battle to battle myself. Like, oh, okay. One of the steps in that success is learn how to control your mind and control your emotions. If not, you're going to be out of control. You know what else I'm thankful for? Today, tomorrow, I'm thankful for it all. That's the way that it works. If you want to be happy, you got to be thankful for what you got. You even have to be thankful for the things that drive you crazy because those are the things that make us better. And two plus two is always far, right? With that, we're done. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on number 741 on a terrific Tuesday. We'll be back tomorrow on a hump day. Hump day. We'll see you then, Ambar. Deuces. Hashtag real talk. Love you guys.